Welcome back to the channel and thank you for watching. I'm a barrister who helps you understand law. So there are lots of photographs going around online of Amber Heard's knuckles showing bruises and cuts all over these areas here, both on the front and on the top and around here. And so I thought I would give you my expert opinion. Now remember, normally opinions don't count and we don't care about opinions unless it's an expert legal opinion for your client or it's an expert opinion on any other area or subject matter and it's given in court by an expert. Now, as a martial artist, a sixth dan, a veteran martial artist of more than 30 years, I am an expert in this field and I can tell you that my experience tells me that if you have damage to these areas of the knuckles anywhere around here on the front, on the middle, on the top side here, any of these areas here, will show that you've been using your knuckles to hit things. Now, all of us as martial artists have done this at some point or another. I wouldn't say that it is best practice to be using your fists on anything hard to generate this kind of damage and injury, but we've all done it at some point because we've been excessively training, hitting bags, hitting boards, press-ups on knuckles, anything we can to harden those knuckles because when you are training, you want these areas to be as hard and durable as possible. But obviously that results in a particular kind of injury, damage, bruised and redness, sore, cuts, abrasions and so on. And they are very distinctive. And so the point of all this is if these photographs that are apparently fan photographs taken of Amber Heard, then if they are genuinely showing this damage to her knuckles, people are saying that it's indicative of her being aggressive. Now, some people have said that this is probably from her filming, but I would suggest that if someone is filming in the film industry, now this is where it goes out of my territory because I don't work in the film industry, but my opinion would be that if someone is working in the film industry, they should be taking more precautions than that to uh, generate this kind of injury on the knuckles, although that is a possibility. But a lot of people are speculating that this is actually more indicative of her being violent and aggressive. And they appear to me to be somewhat indicative, in my expert opinion, they appear to be indicative of quite a number of repeated attacks and um, punching items or indeed people. So the areas of damage to these knuckles that you can see on these photographs that were apparently taken by fans are consistent with somebody using their fists to hit either people or boards or whatever. Now, some people don't realize that when you hit somebody, i.e. hit somebody in the head or in the chest or, or whatever, actually, it's quite a hard surface to be hitting. So even you punch someone in the side of the face here, if you think about it, actually your skull, which encompasses the whole of your head, is very hard. So it is obviously bone. Yes, it bruises and yes, it hurts, uh, but ultimately it is bone. So if you're hitting someone in the face, it is hitting a very hard surface. So this is what causes bruising and damage and redness and even cuts and abrasions because the very surface of the skin can get cut and broken just by hitting a hard surface. So those are my thoughts on these photographs. It is possible that they've arisen from filming on set and so on, but I think there should be more precaution to prevent such injuries to fists. Although we do know that actors can and do sustain injuries and bruising and even broken bones and so on. So I wouldn't be entirely quick to jump to those conclusions that these are 100% confirmation that she has been punching things and indicative of her violent behavior but what i will say is that it does fit the pattern of behavior that has been described by so many people so as i say those are my thoughts on these photographs as i say nothing absolutely conclusive but leave me your thoughts and comments below and please do like the video and subscribe and i'll see you next time